Turn on those filaments, get those cathodes warmed up, plug in the big speaker and get ready for the 2 a.m. net, which will happen in about five minutes. KC9UDX net control here. Good evening, this is Key Law Charlie Niner, Uniform Delta X-Ray. My name is Matt and I welcome you to the 2AM net. The purpose of this net is to promote the use of amplitude modulation and also to establish this part of this band 
as a place for AM activity in this area. Everyone is invited to listen. Licensed amateurs who can do so legally are encouraged to check in. We listen in the AM mode and transmit in the AM mode where possible. If you cannot transmit in AM, we encourage you to listen in AM and transmit in FM. If you are transmitting in FM, please adjust your transmit frequency a couple KCs above or below from our received frequency. This facilitates the use of slope detection, that is, demodulating your FM signal with our AM receivers. When checking in, please announce your call sign in standard phonetics. Again, this is KC9UDX. My name is Matt, and I will now begin accepting check-ins. Any stations wishing to check in, please come now. Recognizing Frank, our ever faithful check in. Anybody else wants to check into the 2 a.m. net? Here's your chance. Come now, please. All right, hearing nobody so far. Tonight, Frank, uh, I am uh, making a video recording of this operation here and I intend to upload it to YouTube, but if you have any qualms about uh, your voice on the radio being heard on YouTube, then by all means I will stop the recording and uh, that will be the end of it. So just let me know if that's the case. Otherwise, of course, this is the Christmas edition of the 2 a.m. net, and I was looking back through the logs and it seems like around this time last year we had very uh, low turnout on the net here, and I would you know, kind of was wondering why, and it all of a sudden occurred to me, maybe everybody's on HF. So I wonder if uh, if you think maybe that's the case, that maybe this time of year is just bad for our net. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I was tuning around a little bit before I fired up the net here, and I could hear some repeaters on the other side of the lake, and my noise floor keeps going up and down, so we have some interesting atmospheric stuff going on tonight. Hopefully, hopefully that we uh, get some more check-ins and generate some interest here. But if not, then uh, that's fine by me too. So Frank W9JCC from KC9UDX, it's your turn. Go ahead. All right, before I give it to you, Frank, I guess I will recognize Dale, AB9DW. Dale, thank you for checking in. And uh, Dale, same goes for you. If you uh, have any qualms about uh, being heard on YouTube, then, then just let me know and I will I'll wipe this video out. And I suppose before I, I go back to you, Frank, I will check one more time. Do we have any other check-ins for the 2 a.m. net? Come now, please. Hearing none. Frank, I will go back to you again at the top of the list. W9JCC from KC9UDX. Okay, we got that uh, KC9UDX uh, net control. Yes, W9JCC. Yeah, no qualms about uh, putting it on uh, YouTube. Uh, there, uh, on that. And uh, I have not uh, been tuning around on the repeaters. I uh, pretty much just listen to, to uh, WRC. Uh, repeater here, uh, 99.9% of the time, so uh, I don't uh, uh, do too much uh, listening on the other ones. I do have a scanner that uh, I've really narrowed it down to uh, uh, a standby. Thank you, Frank. Hopefully you'll be back soon. If not, that's okay, too. Don't want to displease the XYL. And I don't do a whole lot of listening anymore, either. I just plain don't have time. Uh, what little time that I have seems to be spent mostly in the, in the music studio. And uh, there isn't much of that time to begin with, anyway. But I did do a quick sweep of the band 
just because I have this nice uh, old-fashioned analog tuning dial on my Gonset Communicator 4 so I can hear all the repeaters and everybody else. Anyway, uh, Dale, welcome to the Christmas edition of the 2AM Net. What, uh, what do you have for us tonight? AB9DW from KC9UDX. Well, hello there, Matt. It's uh, Tim Z and a temporary basis of the there, which we'll come we'll back in a couple minutes. Uh, Matt, I, I don't have you on my signal strength uh, meter at all, so uh, you're, I can hear what you're saying. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, I kind of goes in and out a little bit. Uh, however, uh, uh, I, can't, I heard you this last time, so uh, we'll see how it goes as we go through the uh, Vanessa paper. Uh, not so much going on here in radio live this week. Uh, I've just been listening in on this and that and the other thing. Uh, I have a different antenna up. I put that up uh, this summer. I have a, uh, a 10, 15, and 20 meter uh, sideband uh, horizontal antenna that I have on top of the shed. Not too high, only about 23 or so feet. So uh, I've been listening uh, on that, uh, talking every once in a while. I'm mostly listening. So uh, that's what we've been doing so far, Matt. Uh, we'll go back to you for now, and uh, this is AB90W. Uh, we'll be back to that, Matt. All right, recognizing Frank. And thank you, Dale. And, uh, yeah, it sounds like you uh, you get almost as much time <laughs> as, as I get here to play around, which is uh, almost nil. Uh, I have been uh, playing around on YouTube a little bit. Uh, somebody who was interested in becoming a radio, a licensed radio amateur, inquired about how, how uh, a Drake TR3 works. He saw a picture of mine and wondered what all the knobs were, so I made a quick video showing how to tune it up and put that on YouTube. And of course, we'll be having this video on YouTube. Uh, also working on a couple of songs. I, uh, I put a couple of things on YouTube already, so if you check out my channel, you'll, you'll see what I mean. And uh, other than that, uh, also music related, I guess, I've been teaching my daughter guitar since probably the last time we met here, which is not very long, and she's progressing uh, very rapidly. I'm, I'm very amazed at uh, at her progress. Uh, she has no musical background uh, whatsoever other than uh, playing my zither by playing uh, along with, uh, I guess you call it tablature, it's, it's sheet music that fits on the zither. You really can't, if you're not musically trained, you could play it with no problem. And she, uh, she started playing that when I think she was two or three, which I don't count that as much as experience, but other than that, uh, tonight was kind of a milestone. I gave her a piece of sheet music. Now she only she can only play the top two strings, uh, which gives her six notes, uh, no accidentals, just uh, naturals. But I gave her a piece of sheet music, and she was able to read the read the music, not tablature, of course, regular regular uh, uh, musical notation. She was able to read that and, and play it on the guitar with no no help from me, which uh, I guess it, it should be obvious considering her progress, but it's still still amazing to me. And that brings us to the bottom of the list. Do we have any more check-ins for the 2 a.m. net? Come now, please. Hearing none, back to the top of the list. Frank, it's your turn again. W9JCC from KC9UDX. Okay, uh, thank you, Matt. And I can copy the roll uh, real well. I didn't catch... Uh uh, too much of the transmission I just got down uh, when uh, Dale had a, about 10 seconds left <laughs> in his transmission. Uh, so uh, we did miss most of what you said there, Dale. Yeah, I had to go upstairs. Uh, Wayne was watching a, uh, a Netflix series. She watched episode one, and then she tried to uh, start episode two and uh, got all balled up. So uh, we took care of that, and she's back in business. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know, Matt, uh, as far as the uh, Christmas holiday time, yeah, I think probably around this time of the year you're probably going to get a few less uh, uh, check-ins. Uh, I could be up there uh, uh, online trying to buy some more <laughs> Christmas gifts for the grandkids, but uh, if you got tired of it, uh, you do a lot of searching around sometimes. You can't uh, find what you want or can't find something at the price you want, so uh, it does get, get time-consuming, but... Uh, it's uh, a lot 
usual when I chase it around from store to store. Oh, I'm glad uh, those days are pretty much over. And uh, so anyway, uh, not too much on this one. I uh, had uh, we had a huge <laughs> lunch, late lunch today. Uh, Woody made uh, uh, pasties. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those. Are pretty popular dish up in the uh, mining country up north. And uh, she doesn't make them too often. Usually about once a year, but. Uh, uh, she makes some pretty good, pretty good sized ones, and I ended up eating the whole thing. And uh, so for supper, I didn't have much of anything. It's <laughs> just a yogurt and a, you know, and uh, or some raisins. I think was all about all I took. So anyway, uh, back to net control, WNAJCC. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Frank. <coughs> I got this blasted cough for. Her. For a good month now, I can't seem to shake it. Uh, well, my wife has got the uh, the Christmas tree up. I spent about a week, whatever time I could, uh, fixing the uh, the base that I made for the Christmas tree a couple of years ago. It's got a HO gauge railroad track around it, and I I put I actually put ballast down around the the track. It's uh, actual small gravel, and it was quite a process gluing that in and, and getting it all working again. Uh, but anyway, the, the Christmas tree is up on that, and all the decorations are up. At least I'd like to think they are, but I'm sure there's a lot more to go. That's always the case. And I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm getting tired of the emails from the online retailers telling me that they're extending their, uh, their Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday sales for the next two weeks or whatever. Every, every day it's, it's hurry up, our sale might end today. Don't miss it. And then the next day you get the same thing again. I don't know if you're getting those. I get uh, probably 15 or so a day. Uh, I think I have all of my Christmas, <coughs> excuse me, Christmas shopping done. At least I hope I do. Now pasties, I'm very familiar with. Uh, my mother, who is an excellent cook, uh, would make pasties, and I'm sure she makes really good pasties. But it's one of those many things that that she used to cook that I had far too many times, and I can't for the life of me uh, withstand eating something like that anymore. I, I suppose it's like the uh, the Israelites uh, refusing manna. Um, I, I cannot eat pasties anymore. I can't even fathom trying to eat one. <laughs> I, had, I had about a hundred too many of them, I, I suppose, in my younger days. Dale, it's your turn again. AB9DW from KC9UDX. Oh, before I turn it over to you, Dale, I forgot to mention before that uh, I guess I'd have to look the last time. I did not, for some reason, write down what your signal strength was the last time, so maybe it was too low on the scale, but this time you're a solid 4, and that means 40%. I don't have an S meter, I have a 0 to 10 scale, so you're a, a solid 4 on there, and Frank, of course, is, uh, is just a little bit past 10, which is as high as that needle goes. And you're very copyable, but there is, there is quite a bit of noise in the background, uh, nothing objectionable. AB9DW from KC9UDX. So, uh, 
Well, with that, we'll go back to the next floor. We'll be able to play a little bit of that. All right, thank you, Dale. Uh, I can hear most of what you're saying, uh, not 100%. I heard you mention Gary, W9TOF, and I didn't hear what you said about him, but other than that, I, I did copy everything. Uh, so if you can hear me now, <laughs> we will address that on the next score around here. Uh, I do have to uh, get a hold of Gary. Uh, he's got a computer that I gave him a couple of years ago, and I suspect that he doesn't have it running yet, and that's my fault. I, I, I think I promised him I would do some repairs on it, and one of these days I, I've got to get that done. Uh, and I haven't spoken to him in, in eons anyway, so do have to get a hold of him one of these days. We're at the bottom of the list. Let's see if we have any further check-ins for the 2 a.m. net. Come now, please. <coughs> All right, hearing none, back to the top of the list. Frank, W9JCC, it's your turn again from KC9UDX. Okay, thank you, Matt. And uh, first of all, uh, some reports, uh, Matt, you're your usual uh, 40 over 9. The scale goes up to, to 60 here on the 2000. And uh, actually, Matt, I can copy you with the antenna off. <laughs> the antenna switch here has uh, enough leakage to... <laughs> I can copy about an L7 without the antenna. And, uh, uh, Dale, I'm copying you a pretty solid uh, S5. Uh, about five, S5 on the uh, S meter here on the 2000. A little bit of fuzz uh, in the background, but I mean, it's a fine check copy, no, no problem at all hearing you. And uh, I'm surprised that uh, you're not hearing uh, uh, Matt uh, too well over there. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I might be a little further uh, from, uh, uh, see, from, from, uh, I'm thinking it, uh, uh, Dale, you may be further uh, from me than you are from Matt, so maybe it's a high the antenna. I do have it up about 70 feet, but it's not a very uh, high gain antenna, just a uh, uh, hustle uh, two, 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 uh, what is it, a two, 270, I guess it's called, <laughs> two meters, 70 centimeter. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, in the past days, uh, uh, we don't get them as often as we uh, used to, but uh, um, I'm not used to eating that big a meal uh, like, we, like I did when I was a little bit younger, <laughs> but they are good, the way that uh, they made you look. The homemade ones are just not, nothing like the ones you, you can pick up at the, at the store or on the highways up, uh, even up in upper Michigan there. And uh, Matt, you might uh, refresh my memory on, the, on your YouTube site there to look up these uh, uh, videos you got up there. Oh, and uh, I think Bill mentioned that uh, uh, between you and uh, uh, T.O.F. he gets his visit. Is full of uh, uh, YouTube to watch there. So, anyway, back to net control, WNJCC. All right, thank you, Frank. And so that's that's what I missed. That's the only only thing I missed from Dale's transmission the last time. So I will have to I'll have to look up Gary on YouTube, see if I can find him and, and subscribe to his channel, see what he's got going on. I I have not uh, not seen anything of his on there. Uh, Frank, you can look up my YouTube channel. Just search for KC9 UDX. Uh, YouTube is uh, is very uh, weighted in their searches, so you might not get my channel first, but you will get uh, some of my videos first at least. So if you uh, you can either pick one of the videos and, and uh, find your way to my channel, or you can uh, scroll down and pick my channel. Either way, um, I do have a couple of playlists. I try to keep things segregated. I know some people have multiple channels. I, I also have multiple channels, but for different purposes. But my main main channel, KC9UDX, uh, I have all of, all of my uh, work in one channel. And what I do is I have a playlist for all of my music, which is called My Music. And I have, uh, well, I have a couple other playlists. You'll have to check them out. I uh, don't recall exactly what all of them are, um, but that's that. And I think I was supposed to say something else here, and I, for some reason, didn't write it down. Oh, the antenna height. That, uh, that 70 feet sure must help. 
but I think the biggest factor, of course, is the terrain around here. There are, are very narrow paths uh, that are unobstructed from one place to another, just about anywhere you go around here, and I, I suspect that there isn't one of those between myself and Dale. Uh, there's probably probably some something very tall in between here and there. Uh, most likely land. So, that brings us back down to Dale, AB9DW. It's your turn again. Hopefully you can hear me. This is KC9UDX. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm at AB9DW here. I got about 70% of that. Uh, I can hear uh, you much better than you have your voice uh, a little bit raised. sure what the noise was my phone made <coughs> excuse me made before I, I thought it was a dead battery noise but apparently not I looked at it it's got 80 percent <coughs> battery remaining uh, but it did stop recording so maybe that's what the noise was uh, maybe I exceeded the, the file size limit I don't know so I started it back up again and I guess I'll have to splice them together with a with a bit of a pause in between um, anybody trying to follow our conversations will have will have lost us by now <laughs> Um, you know, it's interesting, uh, uh, this Gonset that I've got, uh, the guy that designed these, I'm not sure if it was Gonset himself or somebody working for him, uh, designed them so that you couldn't break them. Uh, you know, you guys probably know that these were, were made for civil defense use, and you would, you would have all kinds of people who, uh, who weren't really radio operators who got quick training and, uh, and were able to use them. And, and they couldn't fail, so uh, this, this, I think that the tube, the output, well, I, I can't speak for this one. This one's a little bit different, but it's the same, same principle. I'll talk about the, the Communicator 3. I think, it's got, I think the tube designation for the, uh, the power amplifier is a 2E26. I, I hope I'm getting that right. But what it is, it's the equivalent of a, a 6146. Now, you're familiar with the 6146. Uh, but that radio puts out a maximum, uh, I think, 7 watts. So it's not taxing that 6146 at all. And, and I've, I've actually demonstrated this. You can, uh, you can, you can key that thing up uh, extendedly for, you know, with, with no antenna hooked up or with a shorted antenna, and it just plain doesn't care. <laughs> so you could, you could have the, the tuning off a mile, and it, it just doesn't hurt it, hurt it at all. And this uh, Communicator 4, it's got a different circuit, but it's it's designed the same way. Uh, you couldn't couldn't kill it if you tried. And most of the other tube rigs, if you're uh, if you're not careful, you could uh, you could run into problems. But but still, uh, they're they're not as as fragile as as some people would like to make them out to be either. 
And I think I'm rambling again here, so let's go to Dale AB9DW from KC9UDX. Thank you, Dale. The uh, the noise is is getting louder, and it's it's starting to overpower your voice. Um, I don't think your signal is changing much, but the uh, the noise floor is, is definitely increasing. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't uh, uh, don't recall any solar <coughs> excuse me solar stuff going on, although we do have some uh, some inter interesting weather, I guess, coming. And you mentioned the uh, the too many handhelds thing. I uh, you know it occurs to me I've I've gotten to the point too where I'm one of those guys that has has uh, hordes of, of handhelds that, that don't actually get used anymore. Um, and I never never thought I would actually uh, get to that point. Now the the main reason behind that is the fact that I just don't get any operating time anymore. Um, <laughs> but that's uh, that's the case. I I probably should uh, thin things out here a little bit. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not like some of these guys that have uh, have pictures of 50 of them lined up. I, I probably have a dozen or so, but you know, a, a dozen that you're not using is still a dozen too many. And uh, we're at the bottom of the list again. Let's see if we have any more check-ins. I think this is the last time I will call for more check-ins. So if if you want to check in, here's your opportunity. If you want to check into the 2 a.m. net, call KC9UDX. <clears throat> All right, hearing none. And uh, let's call this the seven three round. But take your time. We are uh, we are not in a hurry with only three of us here. Um, I don't think we'll run into time constraints in any case. So back to the top of the list. Frank W nine JCC. It's your turn on the seven three round. Okay, well, thank you, Matt. And uh, first of all, on the 2E26, <laughs> that's, that's a tube that's kind of close to my heart, too. Uh, back, uh, back in the day, I built a 10-meter uh, uh, AM uh, transmitter, transmitter, and uh, they used a Milo 5BL2 converter uh, for the receive, and uh, used a 2E26 in the final. And I had a, uh, if you can believe this, a uh, switching, mechanical switching uh, power supply, you know, with the vibrating <laughs> can instead of a, uh, a transistor in there, and uh, to generate the 250 volts. And it, had, it was modulated by a pair of 6 aq 5 And if you go on uh, QR, my QRZ page, you'll see that in one of the pictures way down near the bottom. Uh, you can't see the layout of the rig, but you can see the... Uh, the mobile uh, setup uh, that I had, and uh, 
Yeah, that uh, T-326 was kind of like a mini uh, 6146. And uh, did a nice job. Well, I actually worked uh, coast to coast with that 10 uh, meter wig in the car. And uh, Dale, you asked about uh, if I use an amplifier with the uh, TS-2000. I only use uh, an amp on 20 meters. Um, and the reason for that is <laughs> We lose you, Frank? Um, did I drop out? Yeah, you did. I wonder what happened. I wonder if this thing got too hot. <laughs> uh, where did I drop out? You were talking about interfacing a, uh, a modern amplifier to a modern rig. Frank, you know, you mentioned the, uh, the interfaces. Uh, it's kind of nice for me. You know, I have an old amplifier and old old radios. Uh, what's interesting here, the way I've been set up, is that I've got two HF transceivers that are both connected to the same amplifier. And, uh, of course, I have a switch to disable the amplifier keying. But, uh, in theory, if I had both of those transceivers turned on for some reason, uh, you know, you could uh, key up the amplifier with, with either one of them any any given time, which would be kind of a dangerous situation. <laughs> so that's one of those things I have to be on top of. Of course, it, would, uh, it wouldn't make much sense to have them both on at the same time anyway, unless I had a, another antenna and a way to, uh, to switch out the antenna. Um, but if I did, that would, uh, that would make things a little bit interesting. Um, the other thing you mentioned was the, uh, the mechanical 
switching power supplies, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with those because uh, the radio that I'm talking on right now does have one. Uh, my other, my six meter gun set does too. And I have one for the Drake TR3. Uh, I have taken all of these radios portable at one time or another. And those those power supplies, you know, once you can get get over that buzzing noise, that the mechanical buzzing noise that they make all the time, and as long as you're not tuned on a frequency where you can hear the switching noise, uh, they work great. Um, you know, I, I can't even explain how much fun it is to uh, to take something like a TR3 with a car battery, you know, out into the out portable and, and throw a wire up in the tree and make contacts. It's it's a lot more fun to me than it would be taking a modern battery powered rig. Uh, and the same goes with the uh, with the gun sets. You know, I take the two meter one here to the uh, South Milwaukee Ham Fest when I remember to go, and operate the net from there with a with a car battery. And I have taken my uh, communicator three out to the park and on top of the hill make six meter AM contacts on field day. And of course, that's always a surprise to the guy on, on the other end. Um, anyway, I'm uh, I'm rambling again, so. I will next go to Dale. <coughs> Excuse me. Here I go with the coughing again. Dale AB9DW. It's your turn on the 7 3 round. Go ahead. Alright, Dan. Thanks a lot. AB9DW here. And uh, Frank, thanks for that information. Uh, I, I thought there was an indicator that was required. And uh, Frank, just the use of designing your own uh, switch or interface there there and including it uh, right in the. Uh, All right, thank you, Dale. And it of, of course was good having you here. It's always uh, always good conversation. Uh, you too, Frank. Of course, it uh, it's never never boring <laughs> here on the two a.m. net. Uh, and uh, this concludes the two a.m. net. I will say, of course, by my uh, script here. Feel free to reg to on this frequency after my transmission. We will meet again on. January 9th, 9th of January 2018. And until then, this is KC9UDX. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and good night. 7 3. Okay, 7 3 is a net, and a good, a good net uh, tonight. Thanks for, th thanks for winning the net. Uh, and uh, uh, Merry Christmas to uh, Dale and, and to you, uh, WNJCC. And WB9BWP may be late, but hey, come here. Hello, Dave. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I was just about to get ready to go upstairs here, and uh, I got to charge up my phone <laughs> and go to work. But I'll uh, I'll put you down as a check-in anyway. Uh, and if you have anything for us, uh, uh, go ahead, Dave. KC9UDX.
<laughs> All right, thank you, Dave. Yeah, you can uh, you can email me that. Um, I don't know that I will be at that ham fest. Uh, I'd like to, but it's it's very <coughs> excuse me very possible that I will not. So uh, don't don't print one out unless you're going to anyway. Um, I don't want to waste your ink. Um, but if you want, if you would like, uh, please do email that to me. Um, it's my call sign at awrl.net, of course. And I would, I would very much like to have that. And uh, with that, I do have to go. So, yes, I would like to, uh, to like make the uh, Friday night net. We will see it. I may have to work, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, one of these weeks I should, but I will. I will still say Merry Christmas to you anyway, Dave. Uh, just in case. <laughs> Seven three from KC nine UDX.